Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, I'm just doing this quick video here because a viewer requested it that I go over the new Anna Williams character trailer. So here it is. We're gonna go over all the stuff we see. Uh, this was released at the Tokyo Tekken tournament, which was a great event. There was tons of new stuff showcased. You know, character trailers for Anna and Lei, and then balance update. Um, and that looks pretty major. Like there's a lot of new stuff coming. So yeah, it's very exciting. We've got a September the 6th release date, which is really soon. Uh, it's only a couple of weeks and I can't wait. So yeah, the excitement is real. But yeah, let's just look at this new Anna Williams trailer and see what's what's going on here. I've already seen it, but we'll just talk about what's in it. So this is the end of the combo that we already saw. So the first thing that we see is back 2-2, which is a double slap string. Uh, it's similar to Nina's, and in fact they have that thing at the end where they're a bit slapping back and forth, which is a pretty funny mechanic that's been in Tekken for ages. But, you know, it's kind of a strange choice to showcase in a trailer, if I'm honest, uh, because it was never used before. Like, in previous games, it just wasn't something that you would use even as a Punisher. It's 15 frames, uh, it is a homing move, the first hit, the, the first slap of the combo. Um, but, you know, it's it's a double high, it didn't jail, so opponents could duck the second hit and launch you. And 15 frames, although that's quick for a homing move, uh, given that it's a very high high, and it's, uh, you know, duckable, it just, it really, for some reason it just never got used. Now, if it's a Punisher that has it guaranteed down back three afterwards, as this trailer shows, then, you know, it's probably going to be something which is pretty strong. Uh, the homing properties and everything, but it still feels a little bit weird to see. I've never really been a fan of this string myself. Uh, Nina's slaps are so quick, like they're 12 frames and the first two hits jail, so it's like she can kind of throw them out, but you know, back to two for Anna. Mm. We'll see. I'm gonna reserve judgment until I see it, until I see how much damage this is as well. Like I hope this is really beefy damage, um, because uh, this probably means she's not going to have a 15 frame launcher, which is a bummer. Uh, but that's always the way it's been for Anna players, so we're used to that. We've never been able to launch from standing until 16 frames. Doesn't seem to be changing in this game. Bible thump. But uh, yeah, that's that's what we see first of all. Um, down back 3 still exists. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Okay, so this is forward forward 3 4 3 into Chaos Judgment Stance. And I think this is just showing that you get a small little mini combo off of it. It's kind of situational. Um, I think forward forward 3 is more just used on its own. Just for the launching properties as a whiff punisher or as a block punisher. For things like Death Fist uh, from Paul. So, I mean, it's cool, it's flashy, it works in a character trailer. But, you know, again, it's not something I would have necessarily expected to see. Um, but it's cool that it still exists because the transition on block uh, is pretty fun. It's only minus one, so you can do some cool Chaos Judgment stuff. And then I like that she has some of her old classic intros and outros. She always had great intros and stuff. So here, okay, this is the first major thing. She's doing one, two, three, which leaves her in full crouch. But then... Xiao Yu is like, oh, let me try and... Because, I mean, 1, 2, 3 is minus 1 hit. So the opponent is, you know, inclined to still press buttons uh, afterwards. So Xiao Yu is, like, throwing out a limb here. And Anna's just power crushing right through that shit with full crouch forward 2. That's so awesome. I mean, it's not surprising, uh, if I'm honest. I thought that this would be the case. Because in previous games, this move that she's doing here, full crouch forward 2, had an auto parry thing. But it was really janky. Like... It hardly ever activated, even when it did, there was nothing guaranteed. It wasn't like a law thing where you could get damage off of it. It was just like a weird move the limb out of the way animation and then you're like still at neutral. Um, so this is a big buff, you know, especially because Anna's full crouch game is just so scary. Like she has so many different options and now, you know, uh, the opponent can't even just do like a safe... I mean, we'll have to see obviously how quick the power crush is. Um, some power crushes are better than others, but I mean, it's still, it's it's an amazing thing and, you know, uh, just really makes Anna pretty strong in the full crouch department and she was already really strong, so. Uh, freeze framing on the panty shot, yeah, of course. <laughs> but then this is the other major thing. This is sidestep three. 
And this was this is such a great change. Like this is so smart, you know. It's a small thing, but in previous games this move did not hit grounded. Even though the animation looks like it should, it was just one of those weird head fuck situations where you're like, why isn't that hitting grounded? Um, so good job, Namco. That's awesome. It makes it like a stomp move. Uh, it makes it like Katarina's down three four, um, and also it's really cool that that's guaranteed from the power crush. So yeah, that's good damage. I like all this kind of stuff. Really cool. So this was a bit of a weird thing, you know, because when I first saw this, this is showing down back three is a natural hit low launcher like it always was. I was not averse to throwing out the, the odd cheeky down back three. Um, I like that. It's a snake edge move, you know, it's very slow, but I think the fact that she doesn't make a natural guaranteed 100% vocal sound when she does it, it means that you get away with it a bit more. Um, but when I first saw this, I thought it was showing that it had a high crush property, which would make sense because Claudio, uh, Claudio, sorry, Claudio, <laughs> it's Final Fantasy, another Final Fantasy VII character coming in. Um, but Claudio, uh, stole this animation. He stole it. He stole it. Uh, and his has a high crush property to it. So I thought maybe they just transferred that over. I mean, Anna was the one that had the move first. So why should she not have the high crush too, right? But looking at it now, um... I think it's actually the case that Xiaoyu just whiffed. I mean, it's very close to being, to connecting, but I think it's just out of range. I mean, it may be like a weird sort of like hitbox thing where because of the animation, she doesn't connect. I mean, Xiaoyu kind of has short legs. Um, some of her moves make you think that she has really long legs, like back turn four, but that's just crazy animation wizardry. But what I do love is that it's a natural hit launcher. Like, that's pretty sweet. And then she does a screw with down forward. It's actually while standing 1, 2, 4, but it's the same as her standing 1, 2, down forward 1, 2, 4. I think, you know, in terms of the combos shown in this video, none of them are optimal. There's going to be way better stuff we can do. Um, you know, Namco doesn't want to show us, doesn't want to take away that creativity and exploration element, so we have to make our own combos. <clears throat> once we have a full package of moves to play around with, but it's interesting that down forward 1, 2, 4 is a screw. I think what's more interesting for me is that in previous games it was a knockdown. Uh, so the last hit of that string was a high knockdown. So in this game, because it's a screw, it's going to spin the opponent around and leave them standing for massive frame advantage, which I think is actually better for Ana because this game has a much lower emphasis on Oki and tech roll catches and back roll catches, they just don't exist. And that was always one of Anna's main strengths. And so that being removed, you know, I think it's much better for her just to have frame advantage um, because then she can really pressure you much more because a knockdown is kind of a double-edged sword. Like um, it can be good in some ways, but it can also give the opponent a chance to reset the situation. Um, and so, yeah, this, this could be a pretty good change, I think. We'll have to see, of course. And then, so, <laughs> again, you know, this is kind of an odd choice. Gotta be honest. This is back 1-2-2, two, two, which is kind of another string that Ana players just never used. Um, we never used it. We didn't use it in combos, and we definitely didn't use it out in the open. There was a high in it that you could duck, but it just was not a key thing and you know again I think they're just using it just for variety just to kind of showcase a combo I'm sure there's better stuff you can get and I'm sure this won't be the staple ender um, not unless they buffed it in some way but I mean it's cool she still has it I just never used it the hip bump no I use that a lot so this gives you a wall break and then quarter circle forward 3-2 is a screw move which Makes sense. And then I'm so glad the up forward 1, 3, 3 plus 4, these double knees here. I'm so glad this still exists. Again, Claudio, Dirty Run Thief, kind of stole the, the last animation from this string, but um, it's really good for wall carry. It was an insane counter hit combo. Um, so yeah, it was one of my, like, my favorite strings. I just liked it. You know, it had some gaps in it you could exploit, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to see it. And then this is such a kind of strange thing here. Um, the wall combo that she does is down forward 3-2 into the flip kick. Now, 
let me just quickly tell you about Anna's flip kicks. They're trash. That's all you need to know, is they're such trash. Um, they're very slow to low crush, so you can't use it as a panic move, because it didn't low crush until like frame 13 of the goddamn animation. Uh, launch punishable, zero range, I mean it's ridiculous. And then also, what's more important in terms of this, is they have very bad recovery. So, obviously being launch punishable, but even on a hit, you know, in this kind of a situation, as you can kind of see, look how long, sorry, we just missed the end of it there. Like, look how long it takes Anna to recover. Like, she's only just recovering, really, you know, as the opponent starts to be able to do things. I think even in this situation, she's going to be at a disadvantage, frame-wise. So I think if the opponent does, like, a get-up four, even though they're face down, like, I think there's very little you could do to stop getting hit by that. Like, you kind of have to block. Um, that's just my gut feeling, knowing how the flip kicks work. But maybe they buffed them. They don't seem to have buffed the range, that's for sure. But, yeah. Kind of, kind of weird. Yeah. So this is funny. They redubbed one of her old classic intros with their new voice actress. It has a much different vibe to it. I mean, people are saying that it's a bit subdued, and it's not quite as flirtatious and full of personality as it used to be. But then again, you know, she has had her husband assassinated. So she's not exactly feeling in the best way right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, this line is really just, I mean, that, let me talk to you real close, tells you everything you need to know about Anna. She needs to be close. She is not a ranged character. Um, that's not where she operates best. She operates best at range zero, like right in their face, as we will discuss in a second. But I mean, this again is such a weird thing they're showing here. They're showing her do Chaos Judgment 1 plus 2, which is this double-handed move which leaves the opponent in crouch, and you in crouch. Um, but, I mean, <laughs> you would just never do that raw. Like, you would never go into Chaos Judgment and do 1 plus 2. I mean, it's such a strange thing. But I think it's just to give her access to her full crouch forward one, which is her wall bounce. The stupid-ass Nina player does wipe the floor, which is way too slow, and uh, gets wall bounced for her stupidity. So that's cool, I mean, it's a big change because previously Full Crouch Forward 1 was a launcher, um, so we're obviously not going to have that property to it anymore, but the thing about Tekken 7 is the majority of the stages, like 95% of the stages, are walled stages, so it's still going to be strong. I just wonder about how far, like how close you have to be to the wall to get that wall bounce. Um, from what I saw in the balance update trailer, Certain wall bounces are longer ranged than others, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see. So the wall resplat, and then this seems like a much better wall combo to me because this is down forward one two three, which also gives the flip over, but this recovers much faster. Like you're able to do things after you use this on the opponent much quicker. So I think this will be better for Oki. That's what I would use. So, super slow motion, Blonde Bomb versus Blonde Bomb. <laughs> you know what? It's a silly thing, but I hope they change the name of Anna's Blonde Bomb to uh, Brunette Bomb. They probably won't, but that'd be funny. Finally, after 20 years, they're like, oh yeah, she's not blonde. So this, this is amazing. Um, I was not expecting this of Monist, because I saw in the previous trailer her Rage Drive gave that spike for guaranteed damage and I was like oh wow that's a really cool rage drive seems super useful but the fact that it gives this launch on regular hit and it's a super high launch so Nina's like all up in the air and all spinning I mean look how high she is she's high um you know you can just do so much from here I think what they're showing in the trailer is a very suboptimal combo like up forward three so she still has that move um, which is a low crush, it's not a hop kick, it just gives a guaranteed follow-up, but um, there's got to be more damage from that. Because then she does down 4-1, which is very bad damage, um, and is two hits, so you're using up hits, you know, you only have a limited amount of hits for a combo, so you want to get big damage, and this just doesn't do that at all, so yeah. We're going to have to find our own combos for that. Into the screw... 
But I mean, that's half the fun, you know, combo design and... Really, this is why we need to see the whole move list. Um, and I think this combo is a little bit strange in the way that it showcases some not not super important stuff. Like back 2-2 two two was never used, some other stuff that's shown here was not that common. And I think there's some more key moves from Anna, like her high counter hit elbow, her uh, forward forward 2, her down forward 4, her full crouch sweep, which is not shown. And I think these are the kind of moves that we need to look at and find out how they work together and complement each other. Um, and then we'll have a much better picture of the character because what I'm seeing right now doesn't tell me a whole bunch about her. Um, but what I'm going to do is on September the 6th, I am planning to do like a live stream where I deep dive into the move list and go through everything. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then this is the rage art, which we've seen already. So we kind of don't need to, we kind of don't need to watch that. And then I think the only other thing is, as I say, the comedy ending of the slaps. Uh, which made me chuckle. It was funny. Uh, but yeah, if there's anything else that anybody has questions about, just leave me a comment and I'll reply. As I say, I was just doing this video quickly, kind of off off the cuff. So if there's something I missed, uh, by all means, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about the trailer. Do you think it was... Do you think they chose the wrong moves? Do you think it was weird? Do you think it was exciting? Um... And yeah, I will uh, be back soon, hopefully, with some more Anna Williams content, September the 6th. Can't wait.